Hey beautiful world and hello to somebody I never really thought I would say hello to admittedly and it's also a person whose name needs no introduction the former heavyweight champion of the world Mike Tyson and the current uh, creator of a podcast which I love and also getting back into the boxing career uh, a beautiful journey for all to witness so I need to make this video to not only thank Mike, but also to inform the persons who are there week in, week out, supporting what we do, uh, what has gone on. So if you don't know who I am, my name's John and I'm the founder of a charity here in East Africa called Share Tanzania. Mike, I'm going to give a little background on that because I'm going to make a presumption some people will watch this video who normally wouldn't because your name is so big in this world. So Share Tanzania operates in the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro. We started out assisting children into education who were struggling in poverty or even as far as child labor. We built a village for special needs children in crisis because special needs children here are among the most ostracized children on planet Earth. We have a home and rehabilitation center for homeless or street involved children. And we also have the country's second largest domestic animal rescue shelter as well. So Sher Tanzania has a broad variety of work. We are a one-off, I believe, in the world. We are purely manifest, created and funded off the back of the YouTube channel that you are watching me on now. So it's been a very beautiful journey. Now, for this video, I want to focus on the special needs children because this is very important, because it ties into what Mike has uh, which thankfully done for us. So, special needs children here struggle a lot due to lack of infrastructure, lack of education, cultural superstition. They are even targeted by witch doctors, which I think the international community is aware of by now. The suffering that we see is just inhuman and should not exist in this world. Because of that we built Feathers Tail Children's Village which is a village where single parents with special needs children initially could come and live with their child and leave their children in daycare whilst they went to work or found employment with us. The demand was so high for children who are neglected and taken from guardians by the government or abandoned special needs children that that grew and the village now has more children who don't have guardians than with. But those children who have guardians, those guardians find employment as the caregivers for the children who have been abandoned, etc. So the model works in a beautiful way. That village though is nearly complete. It's pretty much at its capacity. And it is situated in Kilimanjaro, which is a little bit out of the way for transport links. So we set an intention to build a new, bigger, better Feathers Tail Children's Village and things aligned for that. We set about last year and created our plans, etc. By an unbelievable blessing and a visit from two nuns, actually, the church has gifted us a huge piece of land outside the capital city of Tanzania, Dodoma, and also a partially built building with a big plot of land in the city centre, the capital city, Dodoma, of Tanzania as well. So we are believers in, you, as Martin Luther King Jr. said, you don't have to take, you don't have to see the whole staircase, you just have to take the first step. And that is pretty much how this journey has been. Now, on this journey of building the bigger and the better master plan for Feathers Tail, which will be a solution to eradicate this suffering for special needs children nationwide in Tanzania, we have done exactly that. And as it would happen, the next step of the staircase we could not see. And it is thanks to a fundraiser that you did, Mike, and for everyone to understand, Mike auctioned his time in Los Angeles and uh, some sparring time and a meal etc and we raised just under 30,000 US dollars which is phenomenal and we are so grateful for that naturally. So that funding will go towards that partially built building and open our first head office in the capital city of Tanzania in Dodoma 
and that will start our first outreach and that will start our base for building the master plan for the big special needs community uh, hospital therapy center outreach adult uh, special needs village uh, employment opportunities education opportunities etc basically a full solution for the whole country will be built there and the next step for all we couldn't see it and totally unexpectedly was illuminated by the love and uh, the time and effort that you put in Mike and the money that was raised off the back of that. So I want to say thank you on behalf of our Share Tanzania family as we call it. Uh, thank you on behalf of the children that this will help in time and let me also thank our mutual uh, beautiful and uh, light-filled friend Brandy who connected us and made this happen. Thank you guys. It's amazing to have that support and we couldn't be more happy about it and more grateful for it. And we hope that you stick with us on this journey as we continue to try and manifest finally a solution for the whole country, for these children who really deserve a life of peace, but simply don't have one at the moment. God bless guys. Thanks. Here at Shia Tanzania. Into your imagination.